Hi everyone, Sasha here with Vino Lust, and today we're talking about the difference between red and white wine. So identifying the difference between red wine and white wine might seem like a total no-brainer, but the process by which each is made is a super critically important distinction. In the vineyard, the grapes that we use to make red wine all have red skins. Now the color of this red might be light ruby or all the way down to almost deep dark black, but the inside of the grape is actually still usually green. The grapes that we use to make white wine are also green inside, but when they're ripe, the skins are still green as well. There are some grapes that do have pink colored skins, and these grapes are also generally used to make white wine. So when you're making white wine, the grapes are gently crushed to release the juice. This juice is then collected as the free run juice. The remaining skins and stems are then very, very gently pressed to extract a little bit more juice. The winemakers are very careful at this point not to crush the seeds of the grapes because the seeds themselves contain bitter oils that can kind of taint the juice itself. Now, once all of the potential juice is collected, the skins and the seeds are then discarded. The remaining juice is then taken to fermentation and it becomes a white wine. So when you're making red wine, you start off pretty much the same way. Grapes come into the winery, the grapes are crushed, and the juice is released. At this point though, you then let the juice stay in contact with the skins and the stems of the grapes themselves, and fermentation begins while this contact is in place. That changes everything, because it's during this extended skin contact that the color from the skins of the red grapes are extracted into the wine itself. Now, how much color will be extracted into the wine is going to depend on a couple of factors, one being how dark the grape skins are initially, and the second being how long the skin contact takes place. But ultimately, once fermentation is completed, that is when the juice is then separated from the skins and the stems, and the skins and the stems are discarded, and the juice is then made into red wine. So voila, there you have red and white wine. Now there's one more, which is rosé wine. And rosé wine is a little bit of an in-betweener. So rosé wine starts off very much like red wine because the grapes are crushed, the juice is released, and it stays in contact with the skin, but in this case, for much less time. Sometimes as long as just a couple of hours. The juice stays in contact with the skins only long enough to get the amount of color that the winemaker wants, and then the juice is separated and fermentation is completed off of the skins. And this is how rosé wine essentially is made. It starts its life as a red wine and ends its life as a white wine. The color of the rosé will be completely dependent on how long it stays in contact with those skins. But ultimately, your rosé wine is a little bit of both. So that's it. That's your red, white, and rosé. I hope you all have a chance to go out and try one of each. Take a look at all the colors, see how different they are. And then, drink. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. I hope this clears up the difference between red wines and white wines. Stay tuned for other videos and also feel free to leave comments in the comment box. I'm always here to answer questions. Take care.